The territories that would later form the Dutch Republic began as a loose federation known as the 17 Provinces, which Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, also named Charles I of Spain, inherited and brought under his direct rule in 1543. In 1566, a Protestant Dutch revolt broke out against rule by Roman Catholic Spain, sparking the Eighty Years' War. During and after this conflict, the Dutch will focus on creating colonies and trading posts around the world. I've already made a video about their start and how they shaped the history of the world. You can check that out. But how did their colonial empire collapse? We will find this answer in this video. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Throne Kingdom at War, a free-to-play online strategy game with millions of players, in which you can have some fun by building your own kingdom. If you are a fan of history, you probably love action, strategy, and battles. If you do, you will find this game quite interesting and captivating. You can customize your hero, build your own fortified city, and defeat your enemies. If you remember the old RPG strategy games and you love some fantasy added on, you will feel just at home. You can play it easily in the app or in the web browser. There's a link down in the description. Definitely check them out. It will help our channel out a lot, and it will bring you a good time by playing the way you want. Go there and claim your throne. Claim what is rightfully yours. In Europe, trade was more and more important since the exploration era started. Ports and coastal cities were vital for economy and for cash flow. One of Europe's most important commercial cities was Amsterdam. The city became a true center for trading, shipping, and commerce. Efficient access to capital enabled the Dutch in the 1580s to extend their trade routes beyond northern Europe to new markets in the Mediterranean and the Levant. At the end of the 16th century, their ships started to trade with the new discovered lands. Brazil, Dutch Gold Coast of Africa, and Asian islands were important commercial targets. This brought the Dutch into direct competition with Portugal, which had dominated these trade routes for several decades, and had established colonial outposts on the coasts of Brazil, Africa, and the Indian Ocean. From this time, the Dutch started to have small colonies, plantations, and trade posts around the world, in North and South America, in Africa and Asia. The Spanish-Dutch War was for the Dutch part of their struggle for independence during the Eighty Years' War. Because there was a union called the Iberian Union between Portugal and Spain, the enemies of Spain became the enemies of Portugal too. The Dutch attacked their colonies, especially the important trade network around Asian islands, India, Africa, and South America. By doing so, the Dutch became a colonial nation. In the summer of 1629, the Dutch had a newfound interest in rich sugar plantations, so they wanted to obtain the Brazilian state of Pernambuco, the largest and richest sugar production area. The Dutch sent a fleet of 65 ships. They managed to get it, and the Dutch Brazil was also known as New Holland, and it was the northern portion of the Portuguese colony of Brazil, ruled by the Dutch during the Dutch colonization of the Americas between 1630 and 1654. In 1640, John the Duke of Braganza declared Portuguese independence from Spain. Brazil was originally and had remained a Portuguese colony. Some major uprising of Portuguese planters in June 1645. The Portuguese planters around Pernambuco had never fully accepted Dutch rule due to their different culture, language, and some taxes, and by doing so, the Dutch rule was abolished. Dutch provinces supported a larger expedition to reconquer Brazil, but was defeated by Portugal in the First and Second Battle of Guararapes. The Dutch finally lost control of Recife on January 28, 1654, leaving to the Portuguese their colony of Brazil and putting to an end this new Netherlands. In the next years, a Portuguese expedition had been sent from recaptured Brazil to conquer the taken colonies in Africa, across the Atlantic Ocean. The Dutch were expelled from Angola by 1648. This was about their loss in South America, more to the north. The Dutch managed to create a colony at the start of the 17th century, in today's territory of the New York State. The West India Company created a settlement, established by the Company of New Netherland at Albany on the Hudson River. As the Portuguese, the Dutch focused a lot on trade, and they had been sending ships regularly to the Hudson River to trade fur. To protect their trade from French or English, a fortified town was founded in 1625 called New Amsterdam. In 1651, the Parliament of England passed First of the Navigation.
Navigation Acts. In these acts, they excluded Dutch shipping from the lucrative trade between England and its Caribbean colonies. These acts started a rivalry, and it led directly to more tension, and then hostilities between the two countries. The Anglo-Dutch wars were a disadvantage for the Dutch and their naval and trade power. The Second Anglo-Dutch War started in 1665. The English forces moved to capture New Netherland, the important Dutch settlement in North America. The conflict lasted for two years, and it ended with the Treaty of Breda of 1667. The Act of Navigation was modified more in the favor of the Dutch. They would keep their valuable territories in Suriname. In exchange, New Netherland was ceded to England. Even if Dutch Republic would again take New Netherland in 1673, during the Third Anglo-Dutch War, it was returned to England the following year, ending their rule in North America leaving behind a large Dutch community. In the same period on the other side of the world, conflicts with Ming China existed, mainly due to trade reasons. Chinese General Zhang Zhengong attacked and invaded Formosa. The Dutch defense, led by Governor Frederick Coyot, resisted against the Chinese for nine months, but in the final, Fort Zeelandia surrendered, ending the Dutch rule in this territory. During the American Revolutionary War, Britain declared war on the Netherlands, the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War in which Britain seized the Dutch colony of Ceylon. Under the Peace of Paris, 1783, Ceylon was returned to the Netherlands. In the middle of the 17th century, the Dutch managed to colonize territories in South Africa. In 1795, the French Revolutionary Army invaded the Dutch Republic and turned the nation into a satellite of France named the Batavian Republic. Britain, which was at war with France, was now at war with the new Batavian Republic and soon moved to occupy the Dutch colonies in Asia, South Africa, and the Caribbean. Under the terms of the Treaty of Amiens, signed by Britain and France in 1802, the Cape Colony and the islands of Dutch West Indies that the British had seized were returned to the Republic. Ceylon was not returned to the Dutch and was made a British Crown Colony. After one year, France and Britain will be at war again. The British retook the Cape Colony and also invaded and captured the island of Java in 1811. In 1806, Napoleon dissolved the Batavian Republic and established a new monarchy with his brother, Louis Bonaparte on the throne as King of the Netherlands. Louis was removed from power by Napoleon in 1810, and the country was ruled directly from France until its liberation in 1813. The Napoleonic Wars created big losses for the Dutch. Being under the French rule in one way or another, some of their colonies were conquered. The Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1814 will ratify that. Britain will get Cape Colony, Guyana, and Sri Lanka. Anglo-Dutch rivalry in Southeast Asia continued over the port of Singapore, which had been ceded to the British East India Company in 1819 by the Sultan of Johor. The Dutch claimed that a treaty signed with the Sultan's predecessor the year earlier had granted them control of the region. Again, tensions existed, and another Anglo-Dutch treaty was made in 1824. In this one, the Netherlands ceded Malacca and their bases in India to the British, and recognized the British claim to Singapore. In return, the British agreed not to sign the treaties with rulers in the island south of the Straits of Singapore. After this treaty, in this part of the world, the islands were divided into two spheres of influence, a British one and a Dutch one. Netherland will expand their possessions in East Indies, especially deep in their mainland not only on the coast, having control of what is now Indonesia. In 1942, the Empire of Japan invaded the Netherlands, East Indies, a territory rich in resources, vital for Japan at the time. The Japanese occupation of Indonesia during World War II encouraged the independence movement here. Two days after the Japanese surrender in August 1945, some nationalists declared Indonesian independence. A four-and-a-half-year struggle followed, as the Dutch tried to re-establish their colony. Dutch forces reoccupied most of the colonial territory. As the decolonization movement started to rise, almost everywhere into world, international opinion favored independence. In December 1949, the Netherlands formally recognized Indonesian sovereignty. The Dutch, as well as other European powers, focused on new discovered lands, and they managed to establish important colonies and to increase their trade and cash flow. As the Portuguese, even if they were a power, they didn't have the necessary manpower or resources to establish very large colonies, and instead they preferred small ones and trade posts in key positions. Even if this was a good strategy, in time, due to rivalries with stronger and bigger nations, some of their possessions were lost, and in the 20th century, other colonies got their independence due to the decolonization period, being encouraged by other powers. 
A big thank you again to our sponsor, Throne Kingdom at War. Don't forget to check them out by accessing the link down in the description. And also a big thank you to our awesome supporters on Patreon. If you want to see more videos about the collapse of some empires, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to learn more about our incredible history. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.